Olympic downhill competition is really exciting, but the savings you'll find at Shop and Save this week are exciting too. Your favorite Del Monte vegetables, now two cans, 89 cents. Deliciously rich Maxwell House Master Blend Coffee, $5.79 for a 39-ounce can. Mighty Dog Dog Food, now 39 cents for six ounces. And Creamy Shed Spread in the Country Crock, just $1.39 for a three-pound bowl. Our weekly specials and double coupons make you a winner at Shop and Save. Another 30 seconds of common sense. The Hyundai XL GLS versus the Sentra GXE, the Mazda 323 Luxury, or the Corolla LE. Ready? Air conditioning, check. Power sunroof, check. AM FM cassette, check. Alloy wheels, check. Now check this. The Hyundai XL GLS with all these goodies still costs less than the competition without any of the goodies. Check for yourself. Test drive the 1988 XL at Airport Hyundai in Coriopolis. Hey, good night, Mr. Hall. Good night, Leo. We're rich food, days like today. Sometimes it feels like it could burn right through me. The doctor explained it once, how what's down here burns up here. And that's all great, but I just want the burning to stop. So the doctor told me to try something different. You know what? It works. New Gaviscon Extra Strength Relief Formula stops heartburn pain and neutralizes acid. The lantern shines with the curse of a fiery death. And its evil waits for you. Run! Oh, I got your share. For every treasure found, a life must be lost. You shed a little light on the subject. Mickey's worst nightmare comes true. Ready or not, here I come. Throw the lantern over! An all-new episode of Friday the 13th, the series. Tonight at midnight on WTAE TV. We saw a number of falls tonight. You wait mm. in the wings like Debbie Thomas was waiting to go on, and perhaps the pressure was a little uh, too much for her tonight. Yeah, what's wrong with being the third best in the world or something? Well, though, she really? could have had a goal, though. Yeah. We, everybody was rooting for yeah, her. Yeah, she got to be disappointed, but still. The Olympic dreams of uh, figure skater Karen Kadavy of Erie also came to a disappointing end tonight. She was unable to perform in the women's free skate because she had the flu. She was sixth overall going into tonight and was considered a long shot to win any medal anyway. But her disappointment can't come close to Debbie Thomas's. She fell from first to third place and had to finish with a disappointing bronze medal while East Germany's Katarina Witt took the gold. There's Katarina right there. The real surprise tonight, though, was Elizabeth Manley. Now, she's a Canadian, and she was uh, in third place going into the evening, but she really had the best performance of any of them, and she winds up winning the silver. And she'll probably be back in four more years, whereas Thomas and Witt are going to retire. Here's Debbie. She had two near falls tonight. She still gets the bronze medal for the United States, but she was uh, very disappointed. Now she plans to study medicine and would like to become a doctor. So she's got a lot of talent, and it's not just in skating. Hockey this afternoon, Canada still with bronze medal hopes. Robert Joyce with a great move. Check goalie way out of position, easy goal two. And look at Andy Moog here, possible Penguin property. Great save right there. They need some help tomorrow, and they can still take a bronze medal. 6-3, they beat the Czechs. Men's slalom, Italy's Alberto Tomba wins his second gold medal in the slalom with a time of one minute, 39 seconds, .47. And tomorrow coming up on Channel 4, the last day of the Winter Games, four-man bobsled. The Americans have moved into fifth. They have a shot at a medal, women's speed skating, and, of course, the closing ceremonies. Well, it was a tale of two halves today at the Hartford Civic Center as the Pitt Panthers breezed to a 12-point halftime lead, only to have to hang on in the second half for a 74-69 win over the University of Connecticut. The six-ranked Panthers are still on top of the Big East with a 10-3 conference record and a 20-4 mark overall. WTAE's Bill Hillgrove has the story from Hartford. Charles Smith gets two of his 20 points on an early fast break to give Pitt a five-point early lead. But UConn's big man, Cliff Robinson, gets loose inside for a Husky score to cut it to three. Robinson, slowed by a sore foot, got 16 points, but only four rebounds in the contest. Jerome Lane is fouled on a power move, and his three-point conversion helps to give Pitt a 12-point halftime lead, 40-28. to 28. Lane had 22 and 16 rebounds. But UConn fights back in the second half on Phil Gamble's three-point outside shooting. Gamble had game honors with 23 points. 
You know we didn't play well, so we went back out there. We just started digging and playing good defense and uh, just started hitting the open shots and taking our times on the shots because uh, we was rushing some shots in the first half. So we just, you know, started taking our time and things just started falling our way. After a pit turnover with a minute left, UConn down by two, gets it inside to Robinson. But Charles Smith comes up with the play of the game, blocking Robinson's shot to preserve a 74-69 Panther win in front of a sellout crowd of 16,000 plus. It went into a uh, Robinson's hands uh, I pretty much reacted to the shot yeah, I mean if he pro if probably if he would have pump fake he would I would have you know followed him or whatever but he went up with the shot and I just got the block although the Panther Road show under Paul Evans struggled this afternoon they did reach an important milestone they are 16 and 6 on the road and this is the second year of the Evans era but the most important milestone they have back-to-back -back 20 win seasons for the first time in 57 years with the Panthers in Hartford this is Bill Hillgrove for Channel 4 Action News Duquesne loses their 19th game of the year most ever in a single season. For them, 73-63, Penn State beats them tonight. Willie Molson had 20 points for Robert Morris this afternoon. They beat St. Francis 91-58. It was Purdue over Northwestern, 69-51. Oklahoma rolls over Colorado, 134-84. Iowa beats Michigan this afternoon, 95-87. Second half of that game, Michigan's Gary Grant playing with four fouls. Hits the three-pointer, Michigan by five. Grant led everyone with 24. But it wasn't enough. Iowa's Ed Horton hits the short jumper off the glass. Iowa goes up by one. They came back from eight points down in the last nine minutes of play. Iowa up by six, trying to kill the clock. Horton with a breakaway dunk, and that's at the buzzer. 95-87, Iowa wins the game. UNLV over Fresno State, 71-60. Bradley beat Indiana State, 95-74. Kansas, 82. Missouri, 77, an upset at Mizzou. And it was Vanderbilt, 75. Notre Dame, 66. Seton Hall beat Villanova, 84-58. Boston College, 74. St. John, 65. St. Joe's beats George Washington by two in the Atlantic 10. And it was Rutgers over Massachusetts, 119-114 in triple overtime. St. Bonaventure, a loser tonight to Rhode Island. The final there, 93-79. Well, the Penguins hope the end of the Olympics will coincide with the end of their five-game losing streak, their longest of the year. They're in Chicago tomorrow afternoon to play the Blackhawks. They also hope to get winger Kevin Stevens in uniform from the U.S. Olympic team for Tuesday night's game against Minnesota and defenseman Zarly Zalapsky from the Canadian Olympic team for next Saturday's game with the Islanders. In the National Hockey League tonight, first it was Washington and the Islanders, a 3-0 shutout for Clint Malarchuk. Washington wins. Jeff Cortnall, a hat-trick for Boston this afternoon. 7-4, they beat Minnesota. Buffalo Buffalo 4, Hartford 3, Quebec over Detroit 5-4, Montreal shuts out Winnipeg 6-0, St. Louis beat Toronto 4-2, a wild first period so far, L.A. on top of Philadelphia 4-3. The Los Angeles Open in golf today, Chip Beck trying for his first tournament win ever, short par putt at the 13th, he's 14 under there and leading by two strokes at that point. On the 18th hole, Jay Haas's birdie attempt from two feet just short, but he gets his par, he's tied for second place at 11 under and of course Stan Savern is in Florida he gets all the tough jobs and he'll be reporting from Bradenton Pirate Training Camp starting Monday night 11 a week from tonight we'll have a special half hour preview of the 88 Bacos all right thanks a lot there guy well Debbie Thomas is not the only American to win a medal for Olympic skating today more than 100 Special Olympians competed in the annual Allegheny County Special Olympic Winter Games today in Mount Lebanon the athletes competed in a variety of skating competitions, including speed skating, figure skating, and slalom events. They won gold, silver, and bronze medals for their efforts.